we have an inordinate number of dogs that really need adoption. So we have over 80 dogs that are healthy and ready to go right now. We are the only open admission shelter in the county. So that means we don't turn away animals. We try to help people find homes for their animals without bringing them in. But if they absolutely cannot find another home for their animal, we take them in. On an average, we get anywhere from three to five to 50 animals in a day. We get anywhere from five to 12,000 animals a year. Depending on the season, it was down during COVID, but it's now coming back up again. We could not survive without our rescue partners. We bring in all of these animals, but we don't have enough space for all of them. So some days they may come out and take two or three dogs. Other days they may take up to 50. So the other day when we were really, really short on space, in one day we had 58 dogs go out to rescue partners. I 100% believe there's an overcrowding everywhere throughout the country in animal shelters due to inflation, due to the high cost of veterinary care, groceries, uh, gasoline, um, heat and electric, everything has gone up anywhere from 10 to 30 percent. We're seeing a lot of people that, you know, are having to choose between taking care of themselves and taking care of their animals, and that's a terrible choice for anyone to have to make. We had a family here. I saw them when they came in. Father, mother, three kids had to surrender their dog. The mother in particular was in tears. They just had no choice. Um, they could not find a place to rent that would allow them to keep their dog. And it mostly impacts big dogs. We're trying to find the homes for these animals. So that's what keeps me going, is knowing that what we're doing every day, every day there's an animal that's going out to a new loving and caring home. I have to think of all the successes, because if you think of the ones that we can't find homes for, you'd be devastated.